Hello guys, this video is about CAT components and first I'm going to talk about the electronic components and then about the STL files for 3D printing. So you will need a 3D printer or maybe you can use an online service for 3D printing or maybe you have a one close by. So now let's have a look at the first component, the BPI Leaf S3. This is the brain of the cat and you can order it from Aliexpress or somewhere else. Then you will need pins. Straight pins are for the BPI and the curved are for the PCBs. And then you will need wires to connect those. So you will need 10 centimeters, female to female, and then depending which number of pins you need. And 20 centimeters for additional modules. You can look here up what kind of wires you will need. So depending on which module you're choosing, either just uh, keys, for example, here, sub module with only keys, you will need one with four pins, one with three pins, and well, one with four pins and two with three pins to connect the sub module to the BPI. And here another example for the finger module with scroll wheel. You will need six pins for the output pins, four pins for the input and three pins for the scroll wheel. So then you can just select here, 10 centimeters, female to female, three pins and so on. Or you can solder it straight to the board, which is a little bit harder if you make a mistake. So let's go back. What is next of the list? Now let's have a look at how to order a module. Clicking on the link, then open in the editor. So here you will have to create an account for yourself on easyide.com. Then this is a PCB that we're going to order. We also can have a look here at 3D. So this is what we are going to order. This is a schematic and we need only that. So here on the PCB view, we have to click here on the G inside, uh, what is it? Folder icon, something like that. Then no keep going, generate Gerber, one click order, okay. And now it opens in the JLC PCB. So if you create an account for Easy IDE, this should be an account for all of these. For the open source hardware lab, then Easy IDE and JLC PCB. It all works through one account. So now after the upload is done, we only have to change a couple of things and to click here on assembly so they put all the electronic parts on the pcb like the diodes and switches then we can leave it economic top and here you can decide so at least you will get two pcbs with parts so you get five pcbs without anything and then five uh two with parts or you can get five pcbs with parts so the cheapest way to make it is to find four other friends and share the costs. And so now we can just confirm. And here we just click next. Process. So here sometimes you have to click the switches. So you have to click here on search. And then that will be here the top one with K91267T, select. So now everything is selected. Those are the parts that will be placed on the PCB. Next. So here's again the view, it's all good. Next. And here we can see what it's going to cost. Total price 27 euros with delivery. So then you will have to select here 
office appliance accessories, keyboard and save to cart. And here again you can change. So the PCBs, the least amount you can get is 5 and PCBs with parts are 2 or all 5. So as you can see it's not that much of a price difference. Yeah, it's just like 5 euros, uh, 7 euros. So it is definitely cheaper to make it with friends. So now let's go back to the Linksware DIY page. And now let's have a look at something like, let's take the submodule. Here it will be a little bit different. You will see in a bit why. Open an editor. Then pressing here on G. No, keep going. No, generate Gerber. One click order. Okay. And now it's uploading. So upload it. And again, the only thing here assembly economic top side looking all good uh, one more thing you probably want to click yes because they will still send you an email to confirm that the parts are placed in the right uh, place it's not necessary but you can just do it so confirm next process and here we go so first problem we have to switch here from standard only so from economic to standards because they don't have the LEDs in the economic then we have to select again the switches and this is the top one the simple one select and here the joystick, so they don't have the joystick. This is why you have to order the joystick yourself and then solder it yourself to the board. Mm -hmm. And let's go back here. No, here. So then next, and it's because of the joystick, you select do not place. But make sure to place the switches before. So you can see again, so the LEDs are here and switches, diodes, next. And also because of the LEDs, it's a little bit more expensive, uh, almost twice. And again, we have to select here, office appliance, keyboard, and save to cart. So now I have selected here two modules. Now let's have a look at one more the mouse so mouse module and the extra parts for the mouse modules you will find here the the sensor itself then the lens and the led you will have to solder the led yourself in the right way you can watch the assembly video to see what i mean so now let's go back to the mouse module, open in editor, and again here, G folder icon, generate Gerber, one click, okay, waiting for the upload. Okay, now again here, assembly, economic, doesn't matter too. Yes, confirm. Now here, next process. First of all, very important thing is to deselect the LED from placement. So the LED has to be soldered in a special way. You can see it in the assembly video, how to do it. And also what sometimes can happen, the shortage of some parts. So in that case, you have to look at the package, copy, search, 
and then that should do select it sometimes you can just uh, click here and maybe you will find something that will work okay that is selected so we leave that one the header mail and the sensor we're not going to place it because the glc pcb don't have it so here next then don't place do not place and then next and select here again office appliance keyboard save to cart so after you have selected all the modules you need you can go to checkout and yeah order the parts now let's go back to the DIY page of the linksware here for the gyroscope module you can order it as it is it's already um yeah an existing one an existing module and then you will need pads or skates so pads are for the stationary cat which is not moving and skates are for the mouse variant so it's kind of sliding on the table and now let's have a look at the stl files the files can be downloaded from Thingiverse and either you download all the files or you download only the ones you need so first here we have uh let's first zoom in we have here casing with pets and casing with skates so casing with pets is stationary and casing with skates is with the mouse module then the next thing all the files are either left-sided so for the left side cat or symmetrical so if you need the right side parts you have to mirror it for example you just open the casing pads and right click mirror x-axis now it's right sided so here the next thing will be the sub module which is symmetrical so you don't have to mirror it it goes for the left side as well as for the right side then sub module as well uh, sub module with joystick then these are the led plugs which have to be printed in uh, transparent materials so the led light can shine through and you can watch in the assembly video how they go together then the finger module is again left-sided uh, if you need the right side you have to mirror it and here we have finger module with wheel let's have a look again here finger module let's open the wheel variant so this is the left side again if we just mirror it now it's right side let's go back to here these are the keys so first we have the standard key just key then key with index this is for the home row and a convex version so yeah here you can play around and see where you want which key to be placed then the lid is also symmetrical this lid is if you don't have additional modules this lid is for the additional modules so this lid goes with base juro so this is for the gyroscope and this is for the mouse and here we have the support clip which connects the casing with the actual support and here we have a uh, support with skates or support with pads and in different sizes so s is for the smaller hand m for the middle and l for the large and this is basically it for the parts one more thing printing settings so there's nothing special i'm just using the standard stuff it's uh 0.4 nozzle layer height uh, 0.2 exception is for the kiss which is much better in uh, 0.12 it looks nicer and feels nicer then all the parts are printed without support and the infill you can play 
a little bit with it depending on if you want it a little bit heavy then you can push it up and yeah if you're printing the sub module or finger modules definitely drop the speed of the first layer so that's it for the components and after you got all the components you can go here to assembly and here will be also the new assembly video and just follow the steps all right bye bye